Welcome to Professor Stick's Guide to the Universe. Today we're going to be looking at using latex commands inside Microsoft Word Equation Editor. Latex is a typesetting system which is widely used in technical and scientific publications. And once you get the hang of it, it's an easier way to enter equations into the Equation Editor than the standard drag and drop process. Start by choosing insert from the menu, then choose equation and just type in your latex commands. So we'll put in Einstein's equation. Then to convert this to its final form, make sure up in conversions you've got latex selected. There's a drop down menu next to that or else there's one actually next to the equation editor. I like the professional form, it centers the equation, but before I convert it, I'm going to copy it so I can use it later. And there's our equation. So we're going to edit that to the more general form. So this time I'm going to use a shortcut, Alt equals, to open the equation editor, paste in my latex, and I'm going to edit this to the more general form. So E equals MC squared all squared plus P squared C squared. So it's very easy to change an existing equation. Now to enter something a little bit more complex, let's look at the force between two charged particles. Again, we use the shortcut key Alt and equals. So simultaneously press Alt plus equals. And we want the force to be equal to, and we use the frac command to give us a fraction. So 1 over 4 times pi times epsilon naught. And that's all multiplied by, once again, a fraction the charge on the first body, Q1, times Q2, all over R squared. Now I've just realized that what we actually want is the capital F for force, so I'll change that. And then I'm going to copy the whole equation because I want to show you how easy it is to rearrange it. So I'll copy it before I convert it. So we're going to rearrange this to make R the subject. So once again, Alt equals will bring up the equation editor. We'll paste in the existing, the previous latex commands. And I can copy the R squared from the left hand, right hand side across to the left hand side and then copy the F from the left hand side across to the right hand side. And once again, I'm going to copy the whole thing for the next line. So I'll convert that. Alt plus equals gets my equation editor open again. paste in my latex code and I'll remove the squared from the left hand side and take the square root of everything on the right hand side. Now there's several equations particularly if you're teaching physics that you'll use often so rather than having to type them out all the time I use a cheat sheet Let's just put in the equation for time dilation in relativity. And we just copy the latex from the cheat sheet, paste it into the equation editor. And here we're going to hit one of our little problems with using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word doesn't understand all of the latex commands. So the commands I've used here are to give us prettier fractions, a defrac, and to give us big brackets. Microsoft doesn't understand those, so I've got to take the defrac out and replace it with frac and get rid of the big. And now when I convert it, I'll have the time dilation equation. 
Latex isn't a difficult set of commands to learn. If you're teaching science, particularly physics, there's only a few commands that you'll use on a regular basis. And as I said, it's easier if you prepare a cheat sheet. And I'll give you the link to mine in the description. There's also some very good guides to latex. The one that I particularly like to use is this one here, which is the Undergraduate Maths Guide to Latex, which has most of the commands that you're likely to use teaching science or maths in undergraduate or high school. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. And remember, don't panic.